The facts matter. Good morning, everyone. Virgo here. It is March 24th, 2020, and I hope everyone is having a good day so far. I'm going to be debunking a couple of uh, videos that I've received over the last couple of days uh, as submissions from you guys as the subscribers to the Virgo Triad channel who are extremely concerned about some of the information that's in these videos that's going out to uh, particularly uh, people that are following the Moors. Now, this is would be something that I would be addressing regardless of this, w whether or not this is something that the Moors were putting out. But it's particularly distressing that the thousands of individuals uh, that are following the Moors are getting nothing but this information. And by using the title that I'm going to be using on this video, I certainly hope you all see it and you all do some real research for yourselves. For everyone else who made submissions with regards to the concern for this, I want to thank you. This video, I am demonetizing myself because I do not want to uh, end up having the video taken down. As a YouTube partner, uh, they do not want certain pieces of information to be monetized for obvious reasons. Because unless you are actually a medical doctor or a medical scientist, you do not need to be giving medical advice. And so I completely understand that. So I'm demonetizing this myself out of concern for the community um, with regards to not having this information, particularly those Moors that are following other Moors. All right, so we're going to start here with Rise of the Moors, Jamal. Uh, Jamal put up a video a couple of days ago. I believe it was over the weekend. It's a 17 minute long video with regards to claiming that the coronavirus COVID-19 has been patented by the United States. And as you can see on your screen, he's got a patent number up there. Now, unfortunately, for Jamal, this is easily debunked um, because of the fact that, number one, there is no patent at all on COVID-19 as of yet. However, there are nine other strains of coronavirus out there, and within those strains are strains that if you do not have vaccinations for your dogs and cats, you will have a serious epidemic going on from that standpoint. Without vaccinations and boosters for our animals, they will fall prey to coronavirus, which is a serious respiratory disorder, and animals that catch this quite often do not survive it. So uh, this is part of the issue. There are two strains that are discussed within the documentation of this particular uh, patent, which, by the way, was from 2015, um, that... Uh, would affect humans, again, their respiratory disorders, and they are from previous coronavirus um, patents. They're, the reason that coronavirus is patent at all is because of the fact that without a patent, you cannot create a vaccination against it, not for yourself and not for your animals. So let's take a look at that first, because this is despicable in itself, uh, but I want for everybody to be able to see. Thank you so much, Maisie. Thank you for your input here. All right, so we're going to be taking a look at the group that he is claiming. Let me move this over. Okay, here we are taking a look at the patents office. Now, the one that he specifically uh, pointed out was the Pure Bright Institute. Now, the Pure Bright Institute uh, is a group who heavily, as you can see, in 2014 and 2015, and then even before that, and there's many more down here that you can take a look at, actually put in for patents uh, with the Patent Office of the United States in order to protect the invention of of the vaccine that they were working on and you can see over here in the abstract which you can download the PDF I will go ahead and uh, link this in the description for you that will give you the full abstract but what this was for is for previous strains of the coronavirus that can be used as a vaccine to treat and or prevent a disease such as infectious bronchitis in an individual all right so without having patents to actually protect 
uh, the invention of these vaccines, other countries and other companies can take the work that these scientists have done. This has nothing to do with creating the virus itself. That is something that is a natural process that takes place. The patents that you are seeing are for the purpose of a vaccination in order to lessen the effects as to the as to what the uh what the actual virus would do to the human body or to your animal's bodies should it affect uh one that has a lower immune system or uh one that is uh, not healthy in other ways for one reason or another now interestingly enough he claims this is for covid 19 but the truth is there is no patent on covid 19 as of yet anywhere in the united states Going back over here and looking at the actual video, you can see the Pure Bright Institute is who he is referring to. I just read you the piece of the abstract that would be important with regards to this. You can see 2014 and 2015, it's exactly the same. And in reality, they've also got a couple of other places like uh, Brazil, BR is for Brazil. Australia is another one. Uh, Austria is another one. This is an area where this particular corporation uh, of pharmaceuticals works in order to ensure vaccinations for specifically difficult respiratory illnesses that could be um, could become a problem for humans or animals in the event that a vaccination is not uh, procured. So just so that you're aware, Jamal is speaking out of his ass again. And this is something that can be very dangerous because people tend to believe this. All right. The truth is, if you actually do the research, you will find that what I am telling you is 100% accurate. And this has nothing to do with creating the actual virus. This has to do with a patent. Uh, for a particular strain or proteins that come out of that virus in order to make a vaccine for it. This one specifically was 2014-2015 and they were very clearly working on a vaccine. Vaccines have to be tweaked generally on an annual basis in order for people to um, benefit from them and in order for animals to benefit from them, which is why you give your booster to your pet every single year. All right, moving on to the next subject. Okay, I want to show you the actual truth about what goes on with the uh, crap online, okay, because it's much easier for people to tell you lies than you think. So let's fact check this. This is fullfact.org slash health slash U.S. patents on viruses. And this is one that comes out of the U.K., so here is the uh, claim. The claim in the UK is that this US patent 5676977 is for AIDS. The truth is this number is for a now expired patent for an ineffective AIDS cure. US patent 8835624 is for the H1N1 virus. They're saying that that's because they created the virus when the truth is the patent with this number was for a strand of DNA that binds to the H1N1 virus, not the virus itself. Now the strand is for the purpose of making a vaccine vaccination. U.S. patent number 201-202-51502 is for, they, they're saying, creating Ebola. When the truth is the application number was for a strain of Ebola virus, but the application has now been abandoned. The virus was not created by those who filed the patent. And on and on and on and on. It's nothing but lies. Nothing but lies. All right, moving on. Okay, you guys, I really apologize for the dogs playing in the background. I wasn't actually going to do a video today, but I've had so much information come my way that I'm I'm needing to stop what's happening over here and do this because the information that's being spread is dangerous. All right, now we have another individual who's going door to door with documentation, first of all, claiming he's from a 501c3, which we've seen no proof of whatsoever. Uh, and even if we did see proof of that, why would they be uh, 
connecting with the United States government in order to do a nonprofit when they claim that a nonprofit corporation is exactly what they're fighting against in the Temple Moors. A bunch of lies again. Here we go. They are at the door of someone, a young woman, who they are, are uh, trying to or attempting to tell her that, uh, number one, the virus is not uh, it's it's much more um, in the news than it really is that she's not going to get it and uh, that she really doesn't need to be concerned about it. But just in case she is, please be aware that the virus can't live above and beyond 90 degrees. Let's take a look at that, shall we? Okay, this information came out of medicalnewstoday.com. It's a medical journal that is provided to physicians and scientists. And this was put out as a open public release by them in order for uh, hopefully it to go uh, in the direction of assisting people knowing uh, what the difference between a myth and the truth is because there's so much misinformation already online. Number 20 is the virus will die off when temperatures rise in the spring. Some viruses such as cold and flu viruses do spread more easily in the colder months, but that does not mean that they stop entirely when conditions become milder. As it stands, scientists do not know how temperature changes will influence the behavior of this new virus, which they are now calling SARS-CoV-2. Let's go over to another area here where this alert just came out. Can the coronavirus disease be transmitted in hot or humid client, climates? This came directly from the, H, uh, the WHO uh, International. COVID-19 viruses can be transmitted in areas with hot and humid clients, fr climates. Rather. From the evidence so far, the COVID-19 virus can be transmitted in all areas, including areas with hot and humid weather, regardless of climate. Adopt protective measures if you live in or travel to an area reporting COVID-19. The difference has nothing to do with the heat or the cold. It has to do with a combination of humidity versus hot or cold. And anyone who actually has studied anything pertaining to viruses knows that. All right. So that, first of all, is a bunch of BS. Again, temperatures above 90 degrees may... Please stop, Maisie. May make it more difficult for uh, the virus to live, but it doesn't kill it off completely. And if you've got a humidity uh, percentage in there, it could spread more rapidly. Truthful, truthful information is important when it comes to this sort of rhetoric that we're hearing online. Do your research seriously, folks. This link will be located in the description of this video. This will give you some information from, uh, from uh, Hindawi.com, which is a medical journal, and this is about advances in virology. This will tell you the effects of temperature and relative humidity on the viability of the SARS coronavirus from 2011, and it will continue to give you information on other parts of different strains of coronavirus. We do not yet know whether COVID-19 can live in uh, temperatures above 100 or temperatures below 20 for example. That's just an example, okay? What we do know is that with testing that's being done via Petri dish, that is something that they have been able to determine. It has not. It has to do with the temperature and the humidity and how those two things mix. In some instances, humidity with high temperatures made it spread worse. So again, a bunch of garbage being spread now door to door by the Moors. I don't have time to be politically correct here, so the claim that you're not going to get it because you're a black person is a bunch of garbage. Just two days ago, we had an African-American or black nurse die from the virus who was young. She was in her 40s. Uh, we have several NBA stars that have been infected with the virus, and we just had an MSNBC cameraman who passed away at uh, 61 years old without any underlying conditions 
that was an African-American. So again, a bunch of lies, a bunch of garbage. What you're doing out there going door to door, making claims that you are supposedly from a nonprofit organization, and then in addition to that, giving out medical advice is against the law. You are not a physician. I can guarantee that you're not a physician by just looking at what you're wearing and what you are doing with false information and, and giving medical advice is against the law. The link for this video will be in the description below. One more thing I want to mention is he goes in and he talks about mercury in shots and how that affects uh, all your children and um you know, their reproductive organs, you can choose whether you want a vaccination or not. But when you start spreading uh, lies about specific things like mercury being in vaccinations, you need to look at what you are actually referring to here. So there is a mercury containing organic or organic compound and mercury itself, as in the actual mercury that we think about, what used to be in the actual old uh, thermometers is not what they're referring to. Okay, uh, thimerosal is a mercury that is totally different. Not all of them are the same. So here is some information from Children's Hospital that will give you uh, a good indication of the difference here. All mercury isn't the same. Methyl mercury versus whatever kind of other mercury you're referring to uh, is makes makes its way through the food chain in fish, animals, and humans. At high levels, it can be toxic to people. Uh, thermosol contains a different form of mercury. Thermosol is what we are talking about that's actually in vaccinations as a preservative. So we are not talking about methyl mercury we are talking about uh, a broken down form of mercury called thermosol or thimerosal uh, and it contains a totally different form of mercury it breaks down much more rapidly in the system you are able to process it it is in very 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 low levels and even in those shots where they were testing to determine whether it created autism or not it was like 0.001 percent even at that false misleading information to do nothing but lie to their own community seriously claiming that if you're black you can't get it it's despicable and if i sound angry it's because i'm mad as hell and i seriously hope all of you that watch this get pissed off enough at me calling these people out that you actually research yourself. All the links will be in the description. I hope everyone has a good day.